So, uh, what happened the last day was we were doing a, uh, we we're finishing off a quadratic equation where we said the bus and the car have to move 400 meters to collide with each other for anybody that was here on Wednesday or watched the video. And what happened there was we said that, uh, I said 21 plus 32 is 43. 53. You do the minus B formula with A equals uh, minus 3 over 8. B equals uh, 53 minus B equals minus 53 and C value of minus 400. Now, we're already 32 seconds in, aren't we? Does anybody remember why we're 32 seconds in? We did the car. We, 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 we fast forwarded the time until the car was fully accelerated. Okay? That took 32 seconds. So the time from this point onwards, if you were to do the, uh, the minus B formula, one second. So you just love all this into the minus B formula as is now. So you're going to go for what's it, uh, minus 53 plus square root. Oh, sorry, press the fraction button first. Minus 53 plus square root. Uh, 53 squared. Fifty three squared uh, minus four times a, so minus three over eight. C, uh, which is minus four hundred all over two a. Oh God, minus two a all over two a, which is that uh, two times. We are here two times uh, minus three over eight, and when you do that, you should get a value of eight, eight seconds. Okay, that eight seconds adds on to your thirty-two that has already elapsed to give us a final answer of forty seconds. The marking scheme does it completely differently, so it'll be important to do it this way. Okay. Now, find the distance between the car and bus uh, after 48 seconds. Okay. So, that brings us to another set of issues. Give me one second. Now, what we said at the start was that the bus uh, started off with 21. Its final velocity we don't know. We know it has an A value of minus 0.75. We know uh, S value that we didn't really know, and we know the T value is now. How many seconds before they hit each other? It was an extra eight seconds, wasn't it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out the final velocity right now. So I'm gonna find out, we know the car stays at 32, but I need to find out where did the bus, how fast did the bus go by the car? You get what I'm saying? So I have to use a uh, you I have to use a uh, this this formula here. Okay, so I'm going to use p equals u plus at, and then we're going to go v equals uh, 21 minus 0.75 times 8, and oh, 0.75 multiplied by 8, and I should get uh, 15. P equals 15. Okay, now. If you read the question closely, they want to know how far apart they are after another, how many seconds? Another eight seconds, why? Because 32 until the car got constant velocity. An extra eight until the collision took us to 40. Now we're going up to 48, aren't we? Now, the car is easy. The car is, the car is distance multiplied by Sorry, sorry, speed multiplied by time. So it's 32 times 8. Is that okay? So 32 times 8 is 256 meters. So the car has essentially traveled from this line here, where they're both equal to each other. The car has traveled another 256 meters down the road. Okay. So next thing then is how far did the bus travel in that time is what we really want to know. So we're going to do another UVAST again. 
Except this time, the U value is going to be. Anybody? We determined it earlier. We're going to start the clock at 15. We're going to start the clock at 15. And this time we're not after the, the T value will oddly enough is still 8 because it's from 40 to 48 seconds. What are we looking for? We're looking for the distance the bus covers in the opposite direction. The bus is going left, the car went to the to the right, and let's find out. So we're going to use UT plus a half AT squared for the uh, for the bus. Okay, fifteen times eight uh, plus a half minus point seven five times uh, T squared, which is uh, eight squared. Log all down to the calculator, and we should get. 96 meters and then your 96 meters plus your 256 meters will give you what? 352 meters separates. So after 48 seconds of 352 meters apart. All right. So that's still another